So here we are with another product review. Hi, welcome to the channel. This is my product review of the dark and lovely Au Naturel Curl Activator Jelly. I don't think this is a new product on the market, but it is new to me. So strolling down the aisles of Dischem, I decided to pick up a dark and lovely product. And this was the product that I selected. Um, I have used the Au Naturel uh, range before, the shampoo and conditioner. And I was very pleased with the results that they gave. So I thought, hey man, let's pick up a styling product and see what she is giving. This is the 450ml tub. It's an ample size for a naturalista that truly likes to rock twist outs, wash and goes, flexi rods, perm rods, and braid outs. So this is me on my wash day, my hair was deeply uh well deeply washed wow but yeah deeply washed because i like to take my time <laughs> freshly washed it was cleansed uh it was um deep conditioned right with heat because i am a low porosity girly and even when load shedding is tripping i try schedule my work days around my work days my wash days excuse me around when i will have electricity so starting off with four quarters four sections right and from that from those sections you can determine whether you would like to get three or four twist outs depending on you know how fluffy how big how wavy you want the curls to be so this is me i took the product uh what did i have in my hair i had deep conditioned um and now i am just applying the activator gel the jelly rather i had used my a detangling brush already in the shower with my deep conditioner because I think that gives me more slip in fact I know that gives me more slip so at this point just combing through the hair to get rid of any you know reluctant knots that didn't want to you know disappear or any tangles that were still in the way when you have a great twist out you ensure that your hair is not tangled and i was really working and raking in this product and also just checking to see how the jelly was affecting my curl pattern and i was seeing some results so it's quite straightforward today it is a twist out that we will be doing and you take two sections two strands of your hair and you literally twist down the length of your hair shaft when you get to the ends you want to twirl the hair around your finger so that your twist does not come undone it's very important to remember to keep it taunt right you want to keep the twist um, as tight as possible not too tight that it's uncomfortable or that you're exerting excessive uh you know what is it like pulling or pressure on your hair but you obviously want these twists to stay put to stay intact up until they dry and you can take them down and obviously rock your style So it's a very basic twist out. It, uh, you know, doesn't have quite a lot of pizzazz today, but I was quite impressed with seeing how already this product was activating my curls because that's what it claims to do, right? I'm not sure if you can see there how wavy and a little bit more defined my curls actually were. And this, for the girlies who really like to rock wash and goes, I think this would do really, really well and it would be able to give you sufficient hold I'll attempt a wash and go with this product if you request or require me to do so please drop some love down below in the comments to see what else um, you know we can do with this product so that by the time you go and you purchase it you are sure you have seen it and you are confident that it will be able to maintain your hairstyle so that's how I went with the sections raking 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 through that product because we want to activate it we want to ensure that the product is able to stick and bond um, into our hair it's able to be sucked up into the cuticles as well now it's difficult trying to do your natural hairstyle on a wash day if you have a toddler around so that's little miss tepang and i had to efficiently and very quickly boot her out of my workspace but we move we continue
So I find it quite important to keep a water spray bottle or a mister uh, close by as you are working in sections because I wanted to ensure that this twist out uh, comes out beautifully and I was working, you know, a little bit slower than I usually would. It's always good to respray or re-moisten uh, certain sections of your hair. As you can tell, I was, you know, three quarters of the way done and it was this final section left and I could feel that it was a little bit drier. In order to get consistent uh, results, you just want to respray that area again with water before you apply your jelly or your styling product. Can you see those waves? Do you see those curls? Absolutely loving it. So really, you want to work that product in there and ensure that it is, you know, soaked up and... <sighs> Mm -hmm. by your hair gorgeous 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 so that white residue that you are seeing i believe it's a combination of my leave-in product my leave-in conditioner excuse me as well as the jelly so i tend to be quite heavy-handed with uh, my natural hair products so you will see some of that you know uh, products coming through but what you can do is sort of rake it down like that and apply it to your next section and keep it moving here is a close-up of the twisting motion i believe that everyone is you know is can attempt a decent twist out it's a very easy motion i know a lot of people struggle with uh, a three-part braiding or three-piece braiding so twist outs really really can be a low cost and easier way for you to style your natural hair it doesn't just need to be in a you know shortened um afro you can really rock your natural hair in different ways and from that you will look so beautiful my darling i know i know it's intimidating but once you just try to understand your hair and try to style it you will reap the benefits the rewards are immaculate baby so this is me just giving you uh, a look through of my hair and we are going to wait for it to dry the next day this is the next day obviously makeup on face boot ready to go to work ready for the day and my hair was dry in order to have a successful twist out you need to ensure that your hair has dried honey and when you have low porosity hair it can take a moment so that was me i was just reaching for my uh, sweet almond oil uh, just to coat my fingers to help with the takedown process that will help not have your hair be too frizzy right clip away your sections if you prefer so you can work slowly see how uh, curly and defined your hair is so this product claims to moisturize condition and provide a soft hold i do love the ingredients it contains aloe vera and coconut oil uh, water. So aloe vera is a humectant, uh, which means it will draw moisture from the air, from the environment around and put that into your hair, which works well for a twist out. Over the days, you will see your hair get fluffier. And I love that it draws moisture into the hair shaft uh, because I have low porosity hair. So I'm trying to hold on to as much moisture as I possibly can. The coconut water has some vitamin, vitamin K, which will strengthen and soften your hair. So this is the takedown process. As you can see, what do you think? Comment down below if you are loving these curls. Look at that bounce. Look at that bounce. Do you see that bounce? <laughs> you're playing, you're playing. What do you mean? Dark and lovely, what are you saying, baby? They really delivered on that one, no cap. All right, so over here, I wanted to give you a comparison. So that is the side that we have taken down and we have separated the curls. And this is the side which where the curls haven't been separated. So we've undone the twists, but not separated them on the other side. And you can, you know, you can rock either one, but I like fluffier hair. I do really appreciate that it made my hair quite bouncy. They claim to give you a bouncy and shiny finish. I definitely did see that. And the claims 
also include that you know this formula is a lightweight formula and it's easily absorbed that means no flakes honey and i saw no flakes i was able to rock hmm i'm still rocking this twist out right now i'm thinking <laughs> I actually skipped my wash day so at the end once you've taken down your hair you just want to style it however you feel if you wanted to wear it up in a puff you definitely could and how I managed to maintain my curls that week was using their light moisturizing spray it's a really lovely formula as well so comment down below let me know what you think of the hair let me know what you think of the own natural range and which products we should be trying next don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell so you are notified every time i upload a new video at the end of the day i think i will be key keeping this gel as you know part of my natural hairstyling regime or regiment i do recommend it i have zero flakes my hair is soft and bouncy